Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I am talking about Swamp Thing, season number one, episode number seven, Brilliant Disguise. And that was the, that's the perfect title for this episode right here. This episode is directed by um, Alexis um, Outstrander. And here we have a lot of things going down. Now we have, we have Abby looking at Alex and seeing him in his human form. Because he released this type of spore and it's, it gives us some kind of hallucinogen. And so now she's seeing Alex as his human self instead of him being the Swamp Thing. And while he while he's in this form, he's pretty much telling her that he about the green, a little bit about the green, a little bit that he knows. He's still he's still learning and, and he's being connected to this. And he's um, telling her how he can how he, he can hear the plants and how he can hear the trees and, they, and, and how they speak to him. He also can hear when they wake up in the morning and stuff like that too. And and they they even provide him with things that he that he wants or needs like fruit or something, something like that. <clears throat> And he also talked to explain to her about the rot and death, and that it's a bad place, and, they, and, and, and that they need to try to find he has found a way to pretty much stop it by using the force of the green to bring balance to the world. And because all the pollutions of the, they, they, they've been dumping inside of the swamp, it has now awakened the rot, and now it's starting to take over, and it's starting to pretty much un, unbalance everything. And he has to fix that. But you, at the same time, you still have Abby, not quite listening to listening to Alec. Because she wants to save him. She wants to cure him. She felt as though he's trapped in this monstrous form and she had to turn him back to what he used to be. But you can see that he's starting to accept the form that he's in because he's starting to realize that he's part of something bigger, something greater, and that he has to pretty much stay in this form because it's the form to help him pretty much help the balance. Because if he goes back to being human, the, the rot's going to take over and everybody's going to lose. So you're seeing that going down here. Also, he was going down with, with, with Luce, um, Lucille and Matt. And they're pretty much setting up, setting up a plan to pretty much go after Avery. And then you have a, a, a Maria back at home. And she pretty much have, um, um, taking, um, taking, taking over Avery. Um, Avery couldn't make it to the meeting. Because this is this, this, this big rich guy coming, coming to town. And he's going to fund... Um, Jason Woodrow's serum. It's the serum that he created. They can keep the funding. He gets. He can do more testing. He can put more into this and create a better serum to help to help all mankind. And you and you think that Avery wants to be there, but Avery for some reason he can't, well Avery can't show up, and so she steps in. And not only does she step in and take over, but she also impresses the guy who gives the money. And she impressed me too. Like this. First of all, you never realized how, how smart she was. And, all, and as she was talking and negotiating with this guy and, and pretty much impressing him, not only with her, with her cooking, but with, with her presentation as well, how, she, how prepared she was, how, how, she, how she up to date she was on, on the topics, and, and on him, you start to realize, why did she marry Avery? I don't get it. She's smarter than him. She has the money. What did he do to get her? He cheats on her every every, 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 every any chance he gets. He's dirty, he's crooked, he's a thug. So why did she marry this guy? I don't get it, but still, you got to see her shine, and you got to see her potential and things she was, uh, things she was doing. And then you're also seeing how she's a, a, a great planner and evil mastermind? Oh my gosh. Wow. Again, why is she with Avery? I don't understand. Now, I don't want to go into what these are what happened in this episode. There's a, there's a lot of twists and turns and reveals that, that went down. But again, great episode. I'm happy they go, they go, they've gone forward with this whole green and the whole rot situation. I'm liking that. Because they get the whole mystical element to it as well. I, I really do like that. I wish they do a, a more with the green. He's got to get to, he gets to speak to like the totems, the, 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 the green the spirits, whatever the guys, whatever they are. To pretty much direct them in the direction he needs to go into. <clears throat> Hopefully he'll get more um, into the green, but it looks like somebody may be becoming part of the rot because you got um, Alec, who's pretty much like the avatar of the green, and it looks like the rot has found the avatar in this episode here too, and they found the perfect person. Oh, this is going to be messed up. Overall, great episode. Special effects wise, always on point. The acting performance for everybody. Fantastic. The chemistry between um, Alec 
and Abby is, is great because you, you kind of want them to see, to see them together a little bit too. Even though he is a, the, a, the, the swamp thing now, you really do like the chemistry. And then watching them in this human form and watching her and, and interact with one another, that's actually kind of nice and very sweet until it went psycho. But overall, great episode. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Swamp Thing. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. And have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shove them, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would really appreciate it, like I always say. In my dreams and my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.